<laughs> Come here then, you want to say hello? Come on. Oh, you're just an old girl, aren't you? Come here. <sighs> so, I... <laughs> hello YouTube. Say hello to everybody. So I was just going to film a quick video to give you some updates on some things which are going on at the moment and Buffy wanted to get involved. This is my new workshop dog and uh, she's very cute. She's 10 years old. We rescued her, well rescued her, but she um, she was with a family who loved her very much but they had to move into a flat and because um, they had a new baby and they couldn't take the dog with her with them so she's come to live with us and she's really, she's part of the family already aren't you darling? She's a good girl. She's got cataract in one eye so she can't really see very well and she sometimes walks into things which is like totes hilarious. Um, <laughs> she seems to be alright, she's happy enough, bless her. She just wants to sit on me all the time which is quite distracting and makes it quite difficult to work. Will you sit down there for a little while? Hmm? Hi guys, how are you all? I'll admit it's been a little while since we last had a chat. Um, I think the last video I made for you I was swimming with the fishes in Madeira and like before that I'd been manically busy I had all my college work to get in and lots of um, commissions for clients and murals and all sorts of things that I was doing. I was actually filming a TV show as well which we'll get onto in a minute um, and I was just working seven days a week for months on end and I just kind of I couldn't keep up the videos as well um, it was just too much. <laughs> I couldn't cope with it. How do people vlog their entire life and then spend all their life sat at a computer editing it? Don't know. But I kind of, I went on holiday at that point and I couldn't, I just, I decided to have a break from the videos. Have a little bit of me time. And that's exactly what I've done. Um, I've now started back my second year at college. And the TV show that I was working on then, that actually was mentioned in one of my vlogs, because I went to do the first take, before it even got commissioned, you do, um, the channel asked for a, a taster tape, where they can see how the video will pan out, you know, how the show will work and stuff. So I was actually on the first video, which wasn't even put on the TV, it was just shown to the channel to commission the show. So there's a vlog, which I'll find out which one, and I will link it below, that was of me and my friend going up to film that video and I think there's also a later vlog when we actually went up to film the show so I'll dig those out and I'll put the links below for you but the show is called Getting the Builders In it's on BBC One, it's airing at the moment um, but you can find it on BBC iPlayer because I think it's been on every day for three weeks during the daytime and I've been totally lax like <laughs> so I probably should have done this video three weeks ago for you but it really doesn't matter because you can watch it on BBC iPlayer and I will link that below as well. Um, get on there and if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen the build that we did where this, these people lived in a, a like a very very white house. I think I made a joke about it being the white house when I walked in there because literally the walls and the woodwork and the brand new kitchen and the cabinet like everything in the house was white and I went in there and it was shiny and it was brand new it wasn't you know there was nothing upcycled nothing reclaimed nothing salvage nothing reused and I was like this is gonna be a hard sell these people are not into what I do man <laughs> so I kind of just laid it on the line I stood there in front of them and I said this is what I do I use reclaimed items I use I love natural wood and forged steel and you know I can create you something awesome and bespoke but it's not gonna look like anything else you have in this house how about we contrast your brand new glitzy shiny home with a reclaimed a reclaimed wooden lounge that's really homely, really cosy and has got, you know, pieces of forged steel in there as well and, uh, well I guess you'll have to watch the show to see how that got on but um, it was really good, really great fun filming it with my friend that I've known for like 20 years and I think you should definitely click below, follow the link and go and watch it right now and then let me know what you think. Also, while I'm here, did you know that I write for Reloved magazine? every single month pow so I'm basically I put a little bit in the magazine about my um, a little bit from my diary I guess what I've been making what I've been building <coughs> projects that I've been working on so this is it I'm like yeah that's me with red hair we'll get onto the red hair in a minute um, so a little bit about what I've been doing all the behind the scenes 
and then I interview one lucky person. They have to be a maker and they have to make with, there has to be some kind of reclaimed, salvaged, secondhand, vintage, upcycled, you know, you need to be making and creating something beautiful or useful or both out of something that's old and kind of discarded. So this guy, Gareth Evans, he makes awesome Bluetooth speakers out with old suitcases. See that? So if you are a maker, an upcycler, you fit into that category, you can send me your images on a Wednesday. Um, well, you can send them to me anytime, basically. But on a Wednesday, I feature makers and artists on my Instagram and share them with my followers. And I'll, you know, I'll show an item of your work and I'll say a little bit about it and then hashtag that sheet out of it. Um, and then what I do is I choose one of those makers to go into the magazine each month. So obviously, every single Wednesday, on the Instagram, what did you make Wednesday? And then one of those goes into the magazine. So you've got to be in it, in it to win it. If you want to get your name out there, you want people to see the kind of things that you make, you know, drum up some business, make a name for yourself, get in touch, send me the images of your work. If I like it, I will share it with the world. Okay? Um, people keep asking about my hair, so... Yes, it was really, really bright red. People keep asking me, when's it coming back? Well, the thing is, I kind of, I mean, it probably is going to make a return. And the reason it's pink at the moment is not even anything to do with the red. I kind of, I've been blonde, blonde since, uh, since I went on holiday in August. And it all kind of rinsed out and went really orangey. And I was like, I've had enough of like dyeing my hair and sitting there with a plastic bag on my head at, like once, <laughs> once a fortnight. I've had enough of buying all the dyes. I've had enough of creating my, making my bathroom pink. I've had enough of leaving little pink splodges. You know, if I sit on a cream couch or something, I've got to put a towel over the back of it. Like it's, it's not easy, you know, this glamour lifestyle. So, um, so yeah, I was blonde when I came back and it was, it was a bit kind of blondish orangey. And then I had a few highlights put on it and I thought, I'll just ride with this. So I've got my natural colour at my roots and um, I've just been e living an easy lifestyle because also the other thing is in winter, freezing cold, you can't wash your hair in the shower or anything unless you want to have a freezing cold shower because the hot water brings the red out as well. So you're constantly trying to keep the red in because it comes out so easily that you, you, it, you've you got to hang your head over the bath, gives you a bad back and you've got to wash your hair in freezing cold water and I was just like, enough's enough! <gasps> So I thought I'd have a little rest, but um, I got a bit bored of it having just normal hair and so last night I dyed it pink and then I was like, mm, medium, not, don't really like it. <laughs> so now what do I do? I feel like this is going to look better as it fades out a little bit. It was supposed to be kind of pastel pink, but I added some red to it because I felt like it wasn't going to show up and now it's maybe a little bit too much. I don't know, I just get bored of stuff. I want to chop all my hair off again. I'm bored of talking about hair now. But yeah, long story short, it will be going red again, probably, um, probably soonish. We'll see, yes. Maybe when it warms up a little bit, maybe after Christmas, who knows. So that's me, guys. Don't forget me to send, don't forget me to send, don't forget to send me your handmade works of art, functional, beautiful items made out of trash and turned into treasure because I'd love to see them. And don't forget to watch Get the Builders In. The link is below. It's on BBC iPlayer. The actual show, that actual episode that I'm talking about was on TV last week. But you can see images of the thing that I made on my Instagram, which is Karis Williams 777 um, we're going to go out for walkies now. We'll see you later. Bye. One more thing. So you guys really, really liked that photo on my Instagram yesterday of the mannequin with the copper lines in a geometric fashion all over it. Well, you, you might hate me because I know you really liked that image, but that was just in preparation for the next stage because that the copper was actually copper tape, which is going to be peeled off. This is the same mannequin here. Like I'll, I'll insert an image here. Pow! of how it did look and then I sprayed over the tape and the um, and the actual mannequin over the coloured stuff with spray paint because I'm hoping when I peel off the tape it's going to look epic because you'll be able to see all the colours underneath so should we do that together? 
Okay, wish me luck.